You're also watching the AM show right now. We want to make a quick trip to some parts of the country to see, uh, monitor the situation of the laboratory scientists and whether or not they've called off their strike uh, because, of course, the National Labor Commission went to court. Uh, there's an injunction. They are not expected to be striking. Uh, so what's the situation? Anas Sabit is reporting from Techiman Hospital. Anas, good morning. Uh, are the lab scientists back working today? Uh, no. Hello, Anas. Anas, Sabit, see if you can hear me. Can you? Okay, we have to um, work on the Anas. Okay, we have to work. We have to work on that connection. So let's quickly go to Wa. Uh, from where Rafik Salam is reporting from the Wa Hospital. Rafik, the whole of last week, uh, or from Thursday, I think, Thursday, fr Friday, the lab scientists were not working. What happened over the weekend, Saturday, Sunday, and what's the situation today? Uh, the situation, Mama V, at the Wa Municipal Hospital, I can report to you that hasn't changed. Uh, you can see behind me uh, the door to the lab, uh, which is uh, closed, and there's this red banner. Uh, hanging there uh, since last week. Uh, when I came, I met uh, the cleaner uh, who was doing the usual cleaning uh, right here. And then uh, after an hour later, uh, three uh, of the lab, lab scientists came around. But when I asked them whether they were coming to work, they told me that they are coming uh, to pick uh, some items uh, from the lab. So currently, as I speak to you now, at the one municipal hospital lab, nothing is going on here. And are there officials or some of the lab scientists and do they know the action that has been taken by the national labor commission i have spoken to a couple of them about the injunction uh, put on by the nlc and they told me that uh, uh they are not going to abide by it and that they are going on with what uh, their leaders have uh, told them and so they are not going to be uh, at work uh, today and so uh, i can even uh, you can even see a couple of them uh, who somewhere are sitting under a tree uh, now and they are saying that, yes. Oh, unfortunately, uh, that feed seemed to have frozen there. Rafiq Salam just reporting from WA. Rafiq is back. Rafiq. Hello. Yes, Rafiq, we lost you just briefly as you were telling us about the lab scientists who have reported to work but sitting under a tree. Yes, uh, I want to pinpoint that you, you can see that uh, clearly at my back, you can see a couple of them are uh, seated on a bench there. They say they came out to take certain things from the lab, and but they are not at work today. They are saying that they are not going to uh, heed what the NLC uh, uh, want to call on the injunction, but that they think that they are striking and they think that governments come, forth, come up and then uh, meet their demands. That's interesting. Uh, are there patients around because the whole of last week we were talking about patients uh, being stranded and not finding any place to do their lab tests except if they have to travel miles away from the hospital what's the situation with them today the situation uh, uh you know in the upper west region precisely the, our hospitals here you know the patients first go go to the hospital and after that they are directed to the lab uh, to come for the test and so as I speak to you now, uh, there are sea of uh, patients before the, the doctors at the uh, hospital, but none has appeared here. And so it will begin to shape up around midday uh, when majority of the patients have seen the doctors and they're directed uh, to come to the lab. And so in the morning here, in the hospital, you don't see many people uh, coming to, to the lab, except those uh, who are inpatients and who have been directed to come for lab, uh, uh, lab results. And so... The windfall, as I stated last week, uh, has to, uh, is now on the hands of the beneficiaries are, at this particular moment are the private lab scientists, uh, lab laboratories. That's where everybody is heading to uh, for them to have their lab results. Hmm. Rafiq Salam, we'll leave it here and allow you to monitor the situation so you can give us an update later in the afternoon. Rafiq Salam reporting from the Wa Hospital in Wa. Let's go back to the Techiman Hospital. Anas Sabit, hopefully you can hear me. We have a better connection. Uh, Anas, I'm asking of what the update is. Are the lab scientists back at post? No, Mama V, the situation is the same here. Uh, not any different from what Rafiq just told.
do uh, the, the doors, the doors of the lab, uh, I mean, uh, the laboratory is still closed with uh, red bands and uh, we have uh, the notices they left uh, last week indicating the uh, strike action is on. Uh, and so we are unable to meet any of them to also ascertain or find out from them why they are not here. Um, the facility is almost slow this morning because a few patients are spotted here. I know they are aware of the strike last week, and so a couple of them are moving to elsewhere to um, seek for medical uh, attention this morning. I have I had uh, the opportunity to engage the, the, the regional chairman of the Ghana Association of Medical Laboratory Scientists, uh, Dr. Moses Kofi or earlier uh, on phone, and he indicated to me that the strike action continues, and he told me uh, that uh, their leadership is going to meet the Parliamentary Select Committee, I think, on health, that is tomorrow, Tuesday, and until uh, that meeting is held, they are staying off work, uh, so they can't return to work until they know the outcome of that particular meeting. That is what the regional chairman told me. So here at the Abrafi Women in Children's Hospital in Tichiman, the strike action continues, and the hospital is as it was uh, from Thursday and then Friday. And, and that's, uh, I always ask, like to ask about patients because it, it, it comes down to us, the human beings, who will be needing their services. So uh, do you find that there are patients still around hoping that they will work again, just like we witnessed them do last week? There are. There are uh, quite a number of patients, and a lot of them are uh, trickling in as I speak to you now, uh, except that uh, these patients do not know uh, what is likely going to happen in terms of uh, whether they will be attended to at the lab end, because the other departments of the hospital is working. So they can't tell whether the lab will be working. But I sat at the, uh, you know, uh, I mean, in front of the lab for some time, and uh, there are no patients around that end. I don't know if they are aware. And uh, from last week, from the consulting room, these patients are told that if you have anything lab doing, do not go to the lab of the facility, go to the private lab outside. Maybe that is the reason why they are not queuing at the lab end. But at the OPD and the other parts of the hospital, you see a lot of patients coming in, hoping they will be attended to uh, as usual. So that is the situation here, uh, Mama V. Hmm. And now, Sabits, uh, we will leave it here. I know that you'll be doing a lot of monitoring. Uh, maybe we're just hoping that it's perhaps early yet and they haven't gotten the news of that injunction that has been secured by the NLC. So we'll keep monitoring the situation. And that's Sabit reporting from uh, Techimang this morning. Uh, but just to uh, give you a little bit of updates, maybe it's not surprising uh, that these lab sciences are not working because guess what? Spokesperson for the Ghana Association of Medical Laboratory Sciences on the probe last night with MFR Pau said that the strike action was still on in other regions. And this is the explanation that uh, Dr. Jesse gives, De Dr. Edu Jesse. He says that the injunction on the strike action was placed on only the Confuanoche chapter of the association. Uh, also saying that following the court order, the national leadership uh, is yet to communicate with the respective regions on the next line of action. He says the strike had been declared at the respective regions. And as far as my monitoring show, the lab scientists in the various regions and the chapters of the tertiary hospitals are still on strike. Uh, as you know, the National Labor Commission has secured an interlocutory injunction compelling laboratory scientists across the country to call off the strike. They started uh, from the Confanochi Teaching Hospital on May 20, with medical lab scientists and allied professionals protesting the decision of the management to post two doctors to work in their units. The protest, which began as a sit-down strike, escalated into a total withdrawal of services after an emergency meeting on Wednesday, May 26. And even in the face of that court injunction, the strike seemed to still be on. And as we've uh, heard from our reporters, Rafik Salam and Nasabit from Techman and Wa, the offices in those two major hospitals, the lab scientists are not working. Offices are still closed. We'll be doing a lot of monitoring and we'll be bringing you a lot more update here on Joy News.